shout out to all the fans who wanted a Build-A-Bear. Thanks for the request and just craft it. Start by gathering all your pom-poms. You want different colors so you can make several different bears and you want different sizes so you can make the body of the bears. So first find the size that you want for your body and for your head. So you'll need two pom-poms about the same size. Then you'll want four small pom-poms. These are gonna be for the paws. And then two even smaller pom-poms for the ears. The paws and the ears can be the same size if you want. Once you have all the pom-poms ready, now you can build a bear. You can use tacky glue to attach all the pom-poms. You will have to be patient as it dries, and it takes a little bit longer than if you were to use hot glue. So we first attach the ears to the head, and then we'll put that aside and let it completely dry, and now we'll attach the paws to the body. Just make sure you leave room to put the head on when it dries. Once the ears and the paws are secure, you can now attach the head to the body. We're using googly eyes for the eyes, but you can also use teeny tiny pom-poms or even beads. We're using a tiny seed bead for the nose. Here's our American Girl doll Build-A-Bear and he's so cute and fluffy and snuggly and the pom-poms are perfect to make a stuffed animal. You can even add a tail on the back if you want. And you can use the different color pom-poms to make several stuffies for your dolls. And you can even dress them with a craft felt. You might also have a few real miniature Build-A-Bears hanging around and it looks like they all need a box and maybe a birth certificate too. If you want to make the Build-A-Bear box, you can get the printable from our blog at AmericanGirlIdeas.com. Print it out, cut it out, and then score on all the lines. You might want to use a straight edge as your guide, and then it's much easier to bend on the folds. We used a white cardstock so it's nice and sturdy, and your dolls can also color the box. Once you form it into a box, you can use a glue stick to secure it into place. And then you can place your Build-A-Bears that you've crafted right inside. We also have a printable for the birth certificates so you can fill it out and name the bear that you made. To close the top, you'll pinch the two handles together and then on the side, you'll cut out a little spot so the handles can fit through. This way, the top of the box closes and your dolls can carry it home. Give us a thumbs up if you think we should make an entire Build-A-Bear workshop and leave us a comment to tell us what Build-A-Bear you've made. Don't forget to subscribe to become an AGI crafter.